Murphy's. Exactly. <laughs> I thought I was on top of it. Yeah, nurse uh, charged with sexually abusing two dozen patients at, wow. at an Ohio nursing now, home. Now, by nurse, you don't mean a nurse like we know them. Uh, female, nice legs and stuff like that. You, you're talking the creepy male nurse? Well, yes, his name's John. John, <laughs> I'm a nurse. nurse. Of course, so much is. less sexy. Yes, <laughs> nothing's creepier than a male nurse at an old age home. With a can of Vaseline, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spitting in his hand before he goes in the room. He's just constantly going in the supply closet for more Vaseline, and they can't figure out what he needs so much for. We don't use. I don't remember the his patients chafing that much. Nope. Before we continue, I want to give our new friend T.J. Miller a little advice. Yes. If you ever want to work in Hollywood again, you might want to, like, just leave right now. No. Uh, just the conversation don't we're discourage about to have him. could no. be a problem. Oh, for don't your, discourage him. We, no, we like your having future friends in the business. Movie making career. Hey, yeah. And then we have parents to hospital after stillborn babies' yeah. body sent to cleaners. So we have <laughs> one, one sexy story followed up by a hoot. Yeah. <laughs> You, uh, yeah, and you, you can can definitely have some uh, a little slightly riskier material. Yeah, you yeah just the side. You could, yeah, you could save face. Just come up with an excuse, like you got a, an email or a text or something. <laughs> yes. and, and you I guess you feel uncomfortable. Just, I, I have yeah. to go sexually abuse some some, some uh, elderly. Yes. That's right. Yeah, some, elderly. some fucking burdens. Deep dicking a burden. <laughs> Next <laughs> on News Two. <laughs> oh, At least they're good God. for something tomorrow on Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe TJ would say that. Exactly. Oh, that was really me. That was Jim Norton. Uh, Jimmy Norton. Luckily, luckily Jim Norton's uh, got that raspy, sick voice. Yes. So yeah. We can distinguish which stillborn jokes are his. Well, no, this is the, this is the abusing the elderly sexually. The stillborn stuff we're going to save. We're going to bridge into it. <laughs> hey, do we have some sexy music for this story? Maybe a little porn or nice. This is fucking hot. Uh, so this guy works in an old old folks' home. That's right. In Sandusky, Ohio. Sandusky? Oof. Mm. Uh, I'm just waiting for the music, and then we'll do the story. Imagine that. You're just some old codger in Sandusky. Your kids have abandoned you in this fucking shithole. And uh, there, here comes the male nurse. Yeah. Jimmy's got the sexy voice today because yeah. he's a little sexy. That's right. Why don't you use that sexy voice, Jimmy? Get those cocks out, gents. <laughs> <laughs> a nice shift nurse accused of sexually abusing as many as two dozen elderly or disabled patients mm -hmm. at a nursing home was in jail Wednesday. Many of the victims at Concord Care and Rehabilitation Center were had no unable idea what was happening. To, of course they didn't. <laughs> they had no idea. They were unable to report the abuse. Stop whining. And some have since died. Stop whining. Wow. He really knew when to get them. Fucking uh, put a satin pillow under their head and fuck them. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's not the story. Police said that they uh, suspect as many as 24 victims, judging by statements suspect John Rhymes made under questioning. Rhymes, 49, pleaded not guilty Tuesday in Sandusky Municipal Court to felony charges of rape and gross imposition. No, gross sexual imposition. Oh, yes, gross sexual imposition. What is he's, this? He's imposing. Sorry to impose, yeah. but I thought I'd <laughs> fuck your cancerous mouth. <laughs> oh, God. I hope I'm not imposing as I rape your, your one-breasted torso. <laughs> Jesus, what a sociopath. You are. No, I'm not the guy who did it. You sound like Danny Bonaducci today. Really? Oh, we're talking about fans. Can't Danny this. I'll talk a whole lot until you can jump in and go, this guy is insane, a fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. You're ranting. Uh, the director at the nursing home said in a statement that Reams had been fired. I would hope so. Oh. Imagine if it said he'd been given a raise pending investigation. What's his name? R I E M S. John Rhymes. Oh, R I thought you said Reams. Or Reams. <laughs> R I E. More appropriate. Reams would be more appropriate. <laughs> uh, and we cannot share any more detail at this time out of respect of the privacy of our residents and in light of the ongoing investigation. Uh, they're looking into mm -hmm. his past. Blah, blah. So, so they are. Which yeah. include employment at other facilities. Of you, course. Two dozen old people. How does your dick get hard for two dozen old people? For Kids. one. For one, of course. Jesus Christ. Well, he's a special kind of guy. One of those guys that are kind of into that, I guess. Old people. I think it's really funny that... Um, Baby powder and death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what turns him on. Yeah. <laughs> Many of the victims were unable to report the abuse... Uh, just sitting there going, uh, yeah, they, <laughs> shut up, have another pill. They would just point to their ass and tears would come down. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fucking creepy male nurse. Oh, Take care oh. of your parents when they're old. Oh. Or at least set up a video camera in the room so you can have some laughs at a party. Oh. It's you can have your own uh, halftime show. What do you Super think? Cool. Like the, the, uh, the, I'm sure there are 
kid children of these elderly, sure. you know, grown. Uh, that had to put him away for whatever reason, Alzheimer's or something. They and, already got and the they, guilt. They, they still a, visit. They have the guilt. They have the guilt of putting him away. And then you find out they were rolled over and just fucked in the ass by some scumbag that works there. How did, how did these people go to trial, go to jail, and not one family member kills them? Because there's metal detectors in the court. They protect you. That's There's no got to be a way to get... Every system is put there to make it look like it's secure. Not for real security. Let's be honest here. There's got to be a way There's to kill There's got to be a way to kill that fucking guy. If that would... <laughs> let me tell you. I love my mommy. And if she loses her mind, which talking to her lately could probably happen any minute. Oh, boy. And she has to be put in a, in a, a home. Uh, and I find out someone starts tagging her. You gotta kill the yeah, guy. Your mom's hot. You gotta. Really oh, she'd your be tops on the smoking. list. She'd be oh. the first to go. Oh, first to go. <laughs> he wouldn't even get arrested for that. Forget yeah. it. She'd be the first dozen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the first dozen. <laughs> it wouldn't even be a dozen elderly. It would be my mom a dozen times. Oh, he actually wouldn't bag your mom because she's so hot. What, would he take I'm, her to the I'm, movie? I'm not into that. I'm not into that. I want an old bag. This chicken shape. <laughs> but do you think that um, the, parent, the the families feel guilty now? Like they'll like start looking back and go, oh, my God, that's why that guy was wiping off his dick every time he walked into the room. <laughs> just, yeah, the signs were all there. I would walk in, and he would be having sex with her. Yeah. yeah. The, the subtle signs were there. <laughs> his <laughs> cock was in mom's mouth. Yes, <laughs> you guys are assuming that these people didn't like it, though. <laughs> that is true. I, do. I, just, I like that. Do you it's think like, out of two dozen, yeah, two dozen, at least yeah, one yeah. person one is like, "Oh wow, uh, is this cool?" This is yeah. like, oh, you just can't wait for fucked. twelve o'clock. You know, that's, yeah. that's a sick thought. But I'm with Bobby. I bet you there is at least out of two one or dozen. Two. There's uh, got to be one or what, two that were like, that, "Finally, yes. I'm getting fucked." Uh, one person is is pissed because uh, he he's getting you know uh, <laughs> arrested. Gone. For this. It's yeah. There like, there it goes. There goes Saturday night. The old lady just she shuts her eyes. She pretends she's sleeping every time he comes in. Yeah. She's like on the phone. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Getting all prepared. Ah, uh, yeah. For her deep dick and rubs flowers <laughs> on her cunt. Oh, oh, those gray pubes powdering it up. <laughs> she rubs grape juice on her nipples just so it tastes good. Oh, oh God. <laughs> hey, I saw a dumb movie called The Savages. It's kind of like an indie flick with. Um, okay. With. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. God damn it! Where's that bell? Oh, We're all thinking the same thing. Yeah, make oh. it up. Ding, ding. I don't know where my bell is. And it's featured that very <laughs> famous uh, actor there. Uh, uh, He's Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip yeah. Oh. Yeah, and they talk about nursing homes, and it was really interesting. He t he he's a sarcastic douche in this movie, and he's like, ah, shit, I forgot what's the name of this movie. Uh the sa uh, the savages, yes. And yeah. uh, they have to put the old, dear old dad away Jesus. in this movie. And yeah, it's just horrific, and it's a nursing home in Buffalo. It's just it's just gray and awful. Ugh. And and they go to one of the joints. They're trying to figure out where to put dear old dad, and they notice that the the lawns are all manicured nice, mm. and it looks really nice from the outside, right? Like you're going to maybe like a college campus or something. Yeah. And Philip Seymour uh, Hoffman's character is like that's they they do that so we don't feel uh, as you know s guilty about the fact that we're putting our uh, our parent in this place for the rest of their lives. In the home because he's like the, the, our our parents will never see how nice this place looks from the outside. No, they're in their room. And he's like it's all the same on the inside, but they dolly it up on the outside so you don't feel guilty. Well, it's hard. What Oof. do you do with your parents? Like you want to take care of them. But then again, you don't want them bumbling around the apartment with a book of matches. Well, that's just it. They, it's usually for their own safety. Yeah. And so you got to, like, tuck them away somewhere. My, they girl's, fall. my girl's mom was, I mean, she's dying. She's really sick. And what was she dying of? That's well, she's awful. just old. She's really old. <laughs> Does she have any money at least? Yeah. Well, no, she's very sick, and they were going to put her in a home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bobby. This it's is not, not, it's not, not right. the time or the place. my mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to, because the elderly could hurt themselves or, or you. <laughs> 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 I forgot that one. Gatsada <laughs> Moranga. Tony. She, she smokes. She still smokes. She looks good, huh? She smokes a lot. <laughs> oh. And she, she actually, <laughs> we actually were at the table with her and she's smoking a butt. She fell asleep because of her medication. We looked oh. up. She was on fire. Nice. The cigarette had fallen into her little pocket on her robe. <laughs> And she just was out. And like we, a stunt we man? Just, <laughs> <She> just <go> <laughs> <laughs> they actually have the table in tinfoil. 
Her end of the table is all covered in tinfoil. So she doesn't burn things? Yeah. Yeah. I like that yeah, if, you, if you hear that incorrectly, you're like, so my my, uh, my girl's mom, she's smoking. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. She's, yeah. On I mean, fire. Fire. <laughs> she's on fire. She's on fire. Hey, does problem? she have the oxygen uh, tank and all that? No, too? she doesn't want anything. She said, I don't want anything. I don't want to be in the hospital. Just, I'm mm. not taking any pills. Let her drop dead. She's, she, she, Let me it. smoke until she, I die. Yeah, she eats donuts and, and she bless smokes. Her. God bless her. God bless She's you know, wonderful. I, you As Dawn, is she freaked out though? Is she like wanted to get better? Is she like, yeah. well, you know, the, the, you, you, it's a mom's decision. There's so no getting better. better from old. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? If someone, if someone's know, like living a, an unhealthy life, they could add a few years. Can they? My, my sure, grandfather really? is 97. 97 years young. Mm. 97 years old, and he do, and it's a great way to. He doesn't care about anything. He doesn't you know care what? what he wears. He'll come down with. Whatever he he throws on, dude. We're the no one questions it. We're the selfish ones because you you try to get your parents to eat right or older people to eat right and and be healthy. And yeah. you got to realize they don't want to. They live their lives and they want to eat their fucking chicken wings and and chain smoke. They've yeah. done it all. Absolutely. They don't want to. They don't want to. Uh, you know, sacrifice by by eating a salad every night and not smoking and having that urge in their body and not doing anything about two it. Years maybe. Yeah, yeah but then we're the was, ones yeah. that feel guilty like yeah. oh you can pops come on i want you around a little longer yeah. he doesn't want to be around a little longer i want you in a chair drooling for right yes yeah, exactly oh, my grandfather i hate to we were taking him to eat and he were like you need a tie to go to this restaurant he just got a piece of rope and made a tie <laughs> yeah good for him <laughs> that's what you want to do but we're the selfish we're the selfish <laughs> bastards that want them around and stuff they don't want to be around eating salads and not drinking no. and, uh, they yeah. they want to booze and smoke and eat whatever the fuck they, they want they lived it up back in the old days yeah they lived it up yeah, they they're ready to go wiping their ass they don't want you taking yeah. care of them treating them like a child I can remember they that. said that <laughs> mom and dad remember you said that when you fucking when you need help when you've fallen and i'm on my way to a gig I'm too busy I'm to call busy. someone. Uh, My dad, I'm busy. we would we would get on him about eating right, and you know, then he would be sneaking his chicken wings and stuff because he would feel the guilt. And then you finally realize, let the fucking guy let, do whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah, yeah. He's let's in his seventies now. Let him have fun the last yeah, you few don't years. Be sneaking chicken wings. At no, that age, you know, no. You, you, you don't want to feel, feel guilty because your kids like are, are constantly on you to eat better. Yeah, yeah. Her mom just sits there and smokes and eat, like has How a hunk of lamb. Just a hunk of lamb and a cigarette, and then she just passes out. <laughs> you know what? To her, she, she's happy, man. And she wakes up and just cracks up. She was on fire. She's with the <laughs> cigarette. I can't find it. She's on fire with... We're just taking bottles of water and dumping it over. <laughs> How old is she? She's ah, she's got to be in her eighties. That's giving up, though. It's not even like yeah. you have to give up at some point. It's not that you've decided that this is what you enjoy and you're doing it. At some point, you reach an age where you just have to give up. Yeah, but yeah. you know what they do? This is what they do. Just, they put uh, you, you know, the Grim Reapers like right over yeah. your shoulder. Exactly. And you just, hey, what, why they, bother with they, anything they anymore? They put you in a hospital. They give you a pill for this. Then that affects your liver. Then they give you a liver pill that affects your kidney. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you just everything's going wrong. She's actually. Live long. When she said, "I right, get me out of here. I don't want any pills. I don't want anything. <coughs> Whatever happens, happens. I'm going to just live my life." She's lived. She's she's actually better than she was when she was on all the medication. Yeah. and going to the doctors all the time. I just see it like uh, the commercials on TV for like AARP and and insurance things, and just they have these old bats. They're like 70, whatever, 75 years old, and they're going, and these are the best years of my life. And you think it, wow, what a shitty fucking life you must have led. You don't want to be fucking 25, fucking some doughboy getting back from Europe? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? You know, these are the best years of your life? You're shitting yourself, taking 80 pills? Yeah, old people want to fuck. Stop it. Old people want to fuck. Yeah. I want to back to the first sexy, sexy story. They're in hell. They just sit there waiting for a good fucking, and it never comes. That's mm -hmm. what this, this nurse was trying to do. He's yeah. trying to do something, giving yeah. public service. He's right. giving back to the community. <laughs> he's, good he's, a, he's a fuck fairy. In his <laughs> mind, he was a fuck fairy. Yes, yeah, so you go to sleep with your colostomy on the fucking... <laughs> what is a colostomy? <laughs> God damn the fucking bag. thought of me. Right? Colostomy bag? Colostomy bag? The thought of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I took cough medicine last night. Buckley's. What? I'm, I'm tired. Spuds? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I can't Cough wait medicine. for Jimmy to be old and his kid uh, having to take care of him, wipe his ass. He's not Jimmy kids. ain't having kids. Uh, he's got to be in a stable relationship of some sort to have kids, and we know that ain't happening. Wiping his ass and Jim would get Jimmy. a hard on. I gotta give. Oh <laughs> God, damn it! I gotta Dad. give Jimmy uh, um, some credit. Like what? yesterday, we talked to the psychologist about the Heath Ledger thing. Yes. By the way, we're gonna replay it one more time at eleven when we get out of here. Right after the live show, we're gonna replay that phone call from yesterday. A lot of people are talking about it. There's a nice buzz in the ONA community about the whole thing. Ooh. 
But the line about how when you found out about Heath Ledger's death and you had to wake up your son angrily. <laughs> angrily. I don't know why that made yeah. me laugh. I it really was that. funny. There were so many gems 